Yes, let us continue now. See this question. If the following are rational numbers, write them in the form P by Q. What can you say about the prime factors of denominator Q? If they are giving you some decimals, it may be terminating or recurring type. So you have to write it back into fractional form, rational form, P by Q form. This is what the question. This we have already learned in class 9, so you might be remembering it. Same thing, one or two examples we discuss as it is in the book. We are having this in class 9th already. You can check your answers from your old textbook, you can, a notebook, you can find out those things and you revise more questions of this kind. Okay, let us see this one. 24.34. What kind of decimal? Terminating. Okay. So, what will we, what will we write? 2434 by 100 as fraction. 2 decimal digits, so 100 denominator, simplest form you bring, P by Q. So, 1217 by 50 is the P by Q form, finished. Now, they ask you what, they are asking what will be the prime factors of 50 by diagnosis. Naturally, it will have only 2s and 5s or 2 or 5 alone like that. No other uh, factors, uh, prime factors will be present there, of course from here. On seeing this only we can tell. So we are just giving them how. So that 50 is equal to 2 into 5 square. So only 2's and 5's are there. This is what the question expects us. Okay, first write us fraction in the simplest form. This is what the question. The terminating decimal directly we write. So I have given here prime factors of Q is in the form that the definition 1.5 theorem. 2 to the power something and 5 to the power something. This is what 2 to the power 1, 5 to the power 2, like that. It's not matter. Go to this one. This is your textbook question. So many digits are there that is chosen it. So 43.1234 by up to 9 it is there. There are 9 digits in the decimal part. So leaving the decimal digits, leaving the decimal point, you are writing 431234 by up to 9 divided by your 9 digits. So 1 billion, 1 billion, 1 followed by 9 zeros. That you can write 10 to the power 9. 10 is 2 into 5. So 2 power 9 into 5 power 9. 10 will be 2 into 5, 4 power 9. So 2 power 9 into 5 power 9. So which form this is? 2 to the power m, 5 to the power m. Or m and n are non negative integers. Means they are whole numbers. Suppose only 2's are there, 5's are not there, so this is 5 power 0 it will be. 2 power some number, 5 power 0. Only 5's are there, 5 power some number and 2 is not there, 2 power 0. That is what these m and n are non-negative integers, means whole numbers. Just uh, what the person asks you, just you have to write that only. But, alright, I come to this one. The question says what? If it is rational, so make sure it is rational first. See this question. Point 0.120, 1 to double zero, 1 to triple zero, 1 to four zero, like that going on. What kind of this? Non terminating, non recurring, not the same thing recurring. Huh? So, this is what kind of number? See, rational. So, no need to worry, no need to write as P by Q. Our job is very simple. Just you write, it is irrational, cannot be written in the form P by Q. Over, that's it. Go to some more examples. It is a ninth class question. They have given 1.6666 means 1.6 bar. You might be remembering that how we did in class 9th. So you will write the given number as x. x is equal to 1.6 bar. Then you will multiply both the side by 10 because one digit is repeating. Multiply by 10. So it will become 10x. 10x is equal to 10 times this number, so 10 times 1.6 bar. When I multiply by 10, the point is coming this side. So I get 16.666 means 16.6 bar. This is 1x, this is 10x. Okay, mark it as 2. This one mark it as 1. Then you know that. You subtract from second equation, subtract the first equation. Means 10x is equal to 16.6 bar 
1 x, when x is equal to uh, 1.6 bar, this to be arranged in order to subtract. So we need to make this, these two repeating digits should come in the same column. So while subtracting it get eliminated. So here it will become 0. So 9x here, 10x minus x is 9x. 9x is equal to 15. So 9x is equal to 15 means what is x? 15 by 9. Simplest form 5 by 3. Over. Now it came to the form 5 by 2. Just look at this one. Denominator q. It has only 3. So q is not in this form. q is prime factor of 3 is only 3. So q is not in the form 2 to the power m, 5 to the power m, right like that. Okay. Two, three more examples we see. And that would be the end of this lesson. Yeah. Uh, let's come to this question. This is 43 point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4. Means all these 9 digits to repeat. Your textbook question this is, right? Repeating, non terminating, repeating decimal. So, how you write it in the form P by Q and uh, what will be the uh, prime factorization of Q? Will it be in the form 2 to the power 4 M and uh, 5 to the power N? This was the question. So, what you do? We studied already in 9th class, same procedure we follow, right? So, you take the given number as X. X is equal to 43 point that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9 bar whatever given taken as x. Now what you do you have to bring this point to the other side okay over here. So you will have to multiply either side of this equation mark it as equation 1 both the side multiply by this 1 followed by 9 zeros. You can call 1 billion okay multiply either side. So I get here 1 billion x is equal to 1 billion into that number. So what happens is that point will move to the other side over here, 9 digit will pass. Again the repeating factor will be available there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 9 bar. So you get 1 billion x is equal to 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 point and that again the repeating factor coming over here. Okay. And mark it as equation 2. Now arrange equation 2 and equation 1. Write equation 2 above. And equation 1 below means 1 billion x is this number and x is equal to this number. Arrange in order, you will note down this repeating factor coming in the same column and arrange. Okay, so when I subtract this, what happens? This repeating factor get eliminated, becomes 0. Remaining here subtracted and written. Then you are finding here you are getting what 999,999,999. 999 x coming whatever it is transpose and find the value of x you get this fraction simplify if possible simplify simplest form I can simplify by 9 get that this ok so now check this denominator it is not at all having 2 as a factor or 5 as a factor never so what happens so the, the denominator q is not in the form 2 to the power m to the power n. So we are confirming that as the decimal is uh, non terminating repeating, the denominator q will not be in this form. Will not be in this form. If it is in this form, it will have a terminating decimal. One such a question we have seen with the same number but a terminating decimal without this bar. Isn't it? So this is having a bar. So its denominator, we confirm that the denominator q will not be in this form. This is what those theorems and not says. Okay, let us take just one more example. This is 2.1 then 6 bar. Here also you are going to write it in the form P by 2. Now I have taken here, see after 2.1, this 1 is not repeating, only the 6 is repeating. 6 bar means 1, 6, 6, 6 like that the number goes. Here how you do? Same way, take the given number as x x is equal to 2.16 bar ok then you have to make two new equations two new equations you have to make what you have to do one equation should bring this point just before just before the repeating factor mean this point should come just before the 6 bar this is one equation 
the next equation I am making, I should bring the point after the repeating pattern, over here, after 6. Then we will have 6 bar again. Two new equations you have to make. So what I am going to bring here? First I have to bring this point just after this 1. Then after this 6. So two new equations are required. I have to move this one digit here first. Huh? So I multiply by 10. So 10x is equal to the point moves one digit. And I multiply by 10. So I get 10x is equal to 21.6 bar. The 6 keep on repeating. Again, you make another equation that this one you are taking multiply by 100 and I multiply by 100 all up and the point will come after 6. Okay, after 6 the point will move here. So, multiplying both the side of equation 1 by 100. So, 100x here when I multiply by 100 the point comes here. 100x is equal to 216.6. Again 6 which goes, so 6 bar, ok. Now, if I take the first equation with any equation, I will not get the repeating factor coming in the same column. I have to take the second and the third equation. Now you discard the first equation, forget about the first equation. Take this 10x and 100x. This you arrange and see. 100x is equal to 216.6 bar. 10x is equal to 21.6 bar, you note down the 6 bar comes in the same column. Now if I subtract, this part will become 0. I need to eliminate this repeating factor, this should not come, ok. So that is why we do this job. So what happens here, 90x when I subtract it, 100x minus 10x, 90x, here subtracting this becomes 0, here 216 minus 21. 195 coming over. So now what I get here is transposing 90 there x is equal to 195 by 90. So x is equal to 195 by 90 when I simplify I get 13 by 6. This is in the form p by q. See now 6. 6 what is the prime factor of 6? 2 into 3. There is no 5 in it. So not in the form 2 to the power m to the power m not in this form it is 2 into 3 coming because of this 3 only that was giving a repeating decimal so just to reverse way writing as in the form p by q if p by q form is given writing is in the decimal form these are all we are having here so with this the chapter comes to an end our chapter 1 real number comes to an end so now what you are going to do all the topics we have discussed right from beginning. You are, until you get it clear, again and again, you are revising it. And uh, you are replaying that video when you do not understand. Still you have certain areas you don't understand. One way I will tell you, uh, if you don't want to ask in that uh, group, so you can do one thing, take my one number, okay. Send me a voice message about a particular sum. At this particular part of which is not clear for me, individually you send, I will send you reply as a voice message in WhatsApp, okay. This is way also you can get it clear or you can write me, uh, send me a mail that in that I can reply you individually or in group, whatever it is. Alright, so our first chapter is uh, over and thing is there are certain thing areas we have to discuss certain questions not in the book. Uh, and there are methods, uh, different uh, questions asked in the past papers, but not in our book. So, so you have to do some more extra questions. So, what I have done, I have collected from the past papers, what are the possible questions they have asked in the past. So, they are all collected and I prepared a worksheet, okay, some questions. Uh, that question also I will upload along with this video. You are going to solve that worksheet by yourself, okay. In that which question you are not knowing, first I will give you the hints, okay, uh, hints will be sent to you. When you do not get uh, the, then I will solve and show you. With that the chapter comes to an end. Uh, next uh, we will start, uh, in the next class we will start new chapter, chapter 2, polynomials, right. Hope you all understand, all the best and you will uh, utilize the time, you are having plenty of time, okay, all the best.